Hey guys, my name is Jamin. Thanks so much for visiting my channel. In this video, I have an HP Stream 14. The exact model used here is an AX113, but this should help you with any of the 14 series models. I'm going to show you how to get inside, access your battery. So first thing guys, power down your computer the correct way. Make sure it's off and unplugged from your charger. We're then going to flip it over to access your bottom case screws. Now at first glance, you don't see any screws but you do see these rubber runners or rubber feet here. These are held down by either double-sided tape or glue. So you can peel them off, but it is thin rubber, so you can also break them and tear them. So be very careful. Use either a small flat pry tool or a small flat, very small uh, flathead screwdriver. But you're going to peel that up on one corner. Again, be careful of breaking it, but peel these up from the bottom case. After you get them up, you can see there's four screws under each of them. We're going to remove all eight screws. After you have all those screws up, we're going to flip the computer over and we're going to go around this seam. If you can see on your computer here, the palm rest sits inside the bottom case up here. So you're going to take your small flat pry tool and put it inside this seam and start prying up this palm rest from the bottom case. Now it was kind of tight when I did it. Um, you may need to go nice and slow, nice and firm, uh, but you can get it up. If you get stuck in an area, just leave it, go to the other side, and work your way the other way around. Also, be careful not to put the pry tool too far in. You could damage some components. Keep it right on the edge. But once you get that palm rest off, this is what you're looking at for the bottom case. And here's your battery right there. Now the battery is held on by these four screws and then it plugs in right here. You may need to actually pick this connector up in order to unplug the battery from it. It's kind of an awkward uh, plug in there. Uh, so you may need to pick that up to unplug it. Be careful about these wires. Don't pull on them. You could damage them. But that is how you access your battery in this computer. For those of you that want the battery specs for this, uh, this was an 11.55 volt battery, a 41 watt hour that I believe comes standard in this model. Uh, if you want to reorder it, the model number was BI03XL. I'll have all that information below in the description. Also, guys, I'll have a link above and below in the description. It'll be a list of all the tools and supplies that I use on my computer repairs, as well as the replacement and upgrade parts for this specific model computer, including the battery. So I hope that helps you out with your project. So that's the video, guys. I hope it was helpful. If you have any questions, check out the FAQs below in the description. It could save you some time getting an answer. If you do need to leave me a question or comment, please do. I do try to get to those a couple times a day at least. To support the channel, please remember to like and share. Subscribe if you enjoy this type of DIY tutorials. And for those of you that want to support the channel a little further, you can always leave a small donation. And there's a couple ways to do that. First, right below the video to the right hand side, you'll see the super thanks button. You can click on that. You can select a tip amount here. Second way, you can use your cash app. Find me at dollar sign PC helper. You can leave a dollar amount and you can even leave a little note. So thank you so much for watching guys and I look forward to seeing you on my next video.